we now have one last competition to do. And I need to do, do some shuffling around as both Simons can't be in the same place at the same time. So I'm going to move Simon into the alleyway and then take control of this Simon here. Before we do anything, though, no, we get to speak to an old friend who has... Well, I probably shouldn't spoil it, but from the direction I'm going in, you can probably guess. Hello, I want in. Here's my membership card. Oh, our founder gives us the honor. That's good. Swampy's back again and he's boiling with rage. Boiling? In a figurative sense, I hope. He cooks badly enough without rage. Well, he's just boiling and cooking. And he's angry. He wants to create a new swamp stew that'll make everybody like him. He's trashed three kettles already. Pah! I'm immunized against this stuff. Hope so, at least. Really? Would you be so kind as to put in a good word for me? Because I don't want to eat that stuff. I know that it's against the rules to say something bad about the stew, so all I say is that I won't eat it. Never. We should probably, probably be nice to Swampy. Hey, you came back! Yes, but for you not! I forgot Stu! Luckily something is there still! Not everyone greedy like you! I'm greedy? For this mush? Yes! You always jump at Swampy Stu! Over now this is! Um... No. Does that mean I'll never have to eat Swampy Stew again? Me don't want to see you anymore! I've had enough. This guy needs some friends to calm him down. But as long as he's terrorizing everyone with his hellish concoction, that's not going to happen. I think it's time my green buddy started to realize what his stew does to people. I think I should cook him a normal stew, which of course he'll find disgusting. Perhaps it's the only way he'll realize how people feel when they eat his stew. So we need to make Swampy a stew. We have a pot, and we have a chicken. Let's go. So, we need to vaporize this chicken. We are gathered here today to pay tribute to, and remember, our beloved chicken. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, chicken to soup stock. Oh, there we go. Hopefully I won't have to sneeze. Who said I can't cook? Instant depressed chicken soup. Most probably a big seller. But it is cold. But I guess that doesn't matter. What do you want from Swampy? Can't we be friends again? Time this will tell. Currently too upset to think about this, I am. You should stop being so huffy. Expecting this of me, you cannot. Deeply hurt right now, I am. I brought you something. What this is? Strange smell. Consider this a peace offering. Peacefully I was here before came you. It tastes very good and I've cooked it myself. No, smelly not yummy. No smell of toad slime. Only eat this if magic potion I would. 
Oh, didn't I tell you? It's a magic potion, a mighty one! Exactly what the effect is? This will make you big and strong! How strong and how big? Uh, about as strong and as big as I am. Aha! Uh -huh. No effect at all it has! It gives you wings! Wumpy creature of the swamps! No need flying! Need friends! Did I say wings? I meant friends. Say I eat this more friends I have! I eat and become popular I am! Oh, uh, exactly! Why you not say that? Give soup smelling awful! But Swampy eating as if getting more friends he will! <laughs> wow, I didn't think he could get any greener. Hopefully he won't spew all over my robe. Me eating this all, have I? Where are the fringes for Swampy? No effect. Making jokes you did again. Yes, yes, the chicken soup will help. Chicken soup? Uh, I meant magic potion. The magic potion with a slight touch of chicken soup. It not work. Not more popular I am. That's not true. I'm already starting to like you again. Not believing you I am. Me talking to you again when magic potion shows effect. When friends come. Hello, Swampy. Excuse me for bursting in like this, but it seems that the doorman of the club ran away. Two Simons is? What that means? Well, I told you that the chicken soup will have an effect. See? Now you have two friends. Two Simons is two friends. Never this many friends Swampy had. Swampy very happy now. Even half a friend more now Swampy has than Swampy's grandpa. Here's do you have, my friends. Oh, thank you very much, but I already had lunch. Would it be okay with you if we ate the stew later? Yes, you take Swampy stew for journey. Swampy's so happy more Simonses exist. Coming more Simonses? Uh, certainly. You only have to eat more chicken soup. Chicken soup? I mean, magic potion, of course. You're the role model for all the boars that voluntarily do their homework. Lovely. Well, that's the end of Swampy for this game. I'm sure he will return in number five. What do you want, Homid? I bet the weights are made of styrofoam. Styrofoam? Do we look as if we had to fake the weights? Hey, just this once, we're completely honest. It really hurts that you think we're cheating. Very good. It was even easier than I thought. All right then, I'll be off to conjure up some nicer demons. I couldn't even lift that if I was into extreme steroids. Now there is a reason why we've got this stew. Any questions? How does the weightlifting work? At first, all participants will get some warm-up time. Of course, you can revitalize yourself with a pizza, but I wouldn't advise it. Giovanni's pizzas sometimes turn up positive in doping tests. When all participants have completed their warm-up, the final competition will commence. I know of some much more reasonable sports for the third discipline. What were you thinking of? Skeleton is said to be an interesting sport. You know, the one with the luge and the ice rink. Unfortunately, it's not winter yet. We'd also risk trouble with the Guild of Necromance, because some of the skeletons might break. Oh, nothing in particular. 
I guess that was kind of a hint with the pizza, because he talks about failing a doping test. I think I'm going the completely wrong way. Yes, I am. Probably doesn't help that I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Don't know why I went all the way over here. <laughs> That's what I call efficiency. If they don't keel over, they'll be found guilty of doping. So our only way of winning these competitions is by cheating. All three times. Any questions? I'm sorry, but I must report a doping suspicion. Doping? A scandal. I'll check that immediately. Get out of the way. Indeed. Peat extracts, natural preservatives, swamp gases and toad venom. The classic witch's brew. Whoever drinks and survives that will be able to achieve exceptional results. Very enlightening. Gentlemen, that means you're disqualified. Leave the competition grounds immediately. Cheaters. There's something not right here. I'll beat your brains in, you brainless blockhead. Brainless? That's it. You can't disqualify us for cheating. We demons always cheat. And now we've been cheated. God. Put these two demons under arrest and up for trial until all particulars of their case are clarified. After the final credits, you'll kick the bucket, Simon. And that's a promise. Lovely. Just what we want, death threats. But we do deserve it, I guess. Any questions? I'm ready. I'll lift that cotton bud with one eye shut. All right. The audience wants to see action. Offer your fans a good show. I'll do my best. Uh, well, uh, that was uh, a new record, yeah, minus two centimeters, a new record of the year, folks. Applause for the champion of this year's competition. Uh, minus two centimeters. Sounds rather negative. I dare say that's quite an effort. Here's your medal and your official invitation to His Majesty's Banquet. And now clear off before the fans beat you up for your lousy weightlifting performance. I won't let that happen to me. I'm used to better fans. Oh, and we're done. Right, let's get to the castle. Stop! Who there? Oh, another one. Is your whole clan working as guards? Yes, the whole clan, except for my mother. Let me guess, she's working as a bridge troll? It's prohibited to talk to the guard staff. Don't worry, I'm not a guard. Oh, well then. Hey, but I am. You're not allowed to talk to me. All right, I'd better go in there now. Stop, no admittance. But I'm a friend of the king. The king has no friends. He only has subjects. Wisely spoken. Stop. No admittance. I have to go in there so that the storyline continues. You can't get in there. 
Yeah, you already said something like that. I'm sorry, but I'm a man of few words. Stop. No admittance. Help, I'm stuck in a time warp. Hey, what? You're stuck in a time warp? Oh yes, if you don't let me get in there instantly, the space-time continuum will tear apart and the universe is going to implode. That's too bad, because my instructions don't include an exceptional rule for universe implosion. Stop! No admittance! You have a large vocabulary. Thanks. Stop! No admittance! He's repeating himself all the time. Maybe I found a bug in the game. Stop! No admittance! I'm not sure I've completely understood. Could you say that again, please? Stop! No admittance! Have a look at this nice gold medal. Do you think you can let me in? Oh, the winner of the competition. Hail to the champion. Come in. You were already expected by the... Uh, excuse me, I have to take a deep breath for this. Great, wise, kind, majestic, godlike Kalaba, king of kings, ruler of the titans, savior of the world, and destroyer of all evil, defeater of the diabolic Simon and his by no means less ruthless double, punisher of the king's assassins and therefore legitimate heir of Tercero the Fourth. King's assassin? You mean he himself? Let's not go into that. I'll go inside then. <laughs> what a great day! Today, I'll take you as my wife. Gosh, how big and mighty these two are. Hands off, you monster! Before I go any further, I've got to come up with a decent plan. I'm not in the mood for letting Kalaba do me in yet again. Oh, okay. And what's what's uh, bigger mighty about her? Her shoes? The Chamberlain is so puny, you can't even see him behind his mighty ego. Wow, this is very, very obvious. I can't see anything special. You will do soon. I'm not in the mood for a chat. Okay. We should have gone here first, but, you know. I better take cover. Maybe my stupid double will take the liberty of luring Kalaba out of the throne room. Then I could slip in there. Hmm, my double has positioned himself, now I can enter and lure Kalaba out. On the other hand, it's not plausible to just walk into the throne room without announcement. After all, a king is still a king. I would have to request an audience first. Exactly, just go in and ask when you can turn up. Yes, that's a good plan. Hey, wait, leave the king where he is. You can't expect the old guy to step in front of a rogue like Kalaba in a pulverized state. Ah, you managed to think for yourself for a change. Here, but just take care that nothing is going to happen to his majesty. What a simple-minded guy. Why don't you just laugh? What will the people think when the queen keeps on wailing all the time? Do you know the joke with the barkeeper and the nun? Yes, I know that one. It's bloody silly. Well, your sense of humor is really underdeveloped. I will... You definitely won't, you scoundrel. Leave Alex alone. Simon, how come you are here? Didn't I blow you up into ashes? Kalaba, this is the Hour of Atonement. You're a rogue, a swindler, a murderer. Yes, and 17 years ago they even arrested you for illegal parking. But it was just an accident. It was so dark I couldn't see the no parking sign. It is too late for lame excuses. Confess and regret. There's loads of things I'd do instead. 
Just you wait. I personally drive you to the wall, you ungrateful wannabe hero! Well, that was easy. Simon! It's you! I knew you'd come and save me! I was certain that you couldn't be dead for good! Eh, uh, you were sure about that? Of course! I always believed in you, always! When you caught the fake Simon! You gave me such a good carpeting! Let's forget it, though. I'm about to save you anyway. But you should just... Jeez, you're that Simon! It was the other Simon who lured Kalaba out. Can you imagine how someone feels who has to marry such a monster? He's just disgusting. He always stares at my... That's most entertaining, Alex, but we're still in the danger zone. What the hell is, is a good carpeting? Oh. Whoa. This might be useful later on. Why do we need two? That's the kingdom's banner. Hmm, the new coat of arms ought to have a laser gun and a little pile of ash on it. That's where they're going to demolish all the grub, but only if I can't prevent it. That's Kalaba's goblet. That's the main reason why I'm still not king myself. They don't seem to be able to build comfortable thrones these days. This one's no exception, I'm afraid. That's the queen's throne, yet I don't think that Alex may sit here after her wedding. Alex is a really hot chick with wonderful, uh, eyes. Yes, uh, I do mean her eyes. Wow. Okay. I'm not in the mood for a chat. Well, I think this is the last action of the game. So I shall see you all in Simon the Sorcerer 5. What have you done? There's no easy explanation. Didn't you smell the mug first? There's wine in it. Who is it, by the way, that always comes up with those insane ideas? What's going on here? So what? A liquid is a liquid. Come on, King, we don't want to have to ask you twice. Otherwise, your comeback might be a bit boozy. The instant powder doesn't work that well with alcohol. The reaction occurs later or maybe even never. Simon, see what you've done. Hmm, that might complicate matters a teeny weeny bit. Hmm, uh, what was plan B again just in case Kalaba comes back early? Was there a plan B at all? Uh-oh. I hope you come up with something rather soon. Here he is. <gasps> hey, there's another one of the kind. I should have known that the two of you wouldn't even be welcome among the dead. But that's not going to spoil my party. God, grab the guy! Well, now I'm going to solve my little Simon problem once and for all. You'll be the only guest at my wedding. Hope you appreciate the honor. And later on, you'll do some good deeds for the public as you'll entertain the people at the pillory. Where was the magic wand again? Oh no, he can't possibly... Ah, here it is. My expendable magic wand. Hocus pocus and so on. Well, I guess that's settled then. Now everything is lost and I will have to marry that monster. Now, now, my dearest, you'll get used to me. And as soon as I've founded my harem, you'll get along splendidly with all my concubines. 
He's even worse than I thought. Polygamy is just barbaric. The point of view is all that matters, my dearest. Gentlemen just need a little variety once in a while. But that won't cause you to be resentful, will it? Cheers. Kalaba, don't drink that. Please don't. Why not? Is it poisoned? Or did you by any chance dissolve the former king's instant powder into this mug? Uh, exactly. What a lame excuse. Anyway, I don't want to be awkward. You won't lose your head for this impudent interruption. That'd break the heart of poor Alex, and I've got better things to do than listen to her wailing all day long. And you'll most likely turn up again anyhow. Well then, to my wedding and your eternal captivity! <sniffs> ah, a most welcome refreshment. Well then, my dear all-purpose officer, let's get down to the marriage. I can't wait to lead this fair maiden to my apartment. Just be brief. I can't stand listening to anybody apart from myself. As you wish, dear king. Do you, Alex, take Calaba to be your wedded husband? Will you love and cherish him? Will you tolerate his wildest affairs? Will you wash his dirty socks? Will you obey to him? And will you crawl in the dust if he asks you to? If so, answer me, yes, I will. Never. Seems you forgot the hungry crocodiles. What about them? Oh, nothing really. I just happen to know that their favorite dinner seems to be twerpy twins. Does that make you think? That's mean. I can't leave the two Simons in the lurch. Oh, no. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Say yes. There'll be some way to get rid of that putchist. I haven't got a choice. All right, I'll do it for my friends. Yes, I will marry Kalaba, but there's no way I'm going to wash his socks. And you, your honor, Kalaba, are you willing to take Alex without any obligation for a test period of a few weeks to be your wedded wife? Are you willing not to torture her above the usual limit, at least as long as she doesn't defend herself, and will you win her affection by means of cheap gifts? If that be so, answer me yes. Hmm, sounds promising. Well, I dare say... What? What's happening to me? Hooray, the king is back. That's our savior. King, let us hear your beloved voice just to assure us that your majesty is fine. Oi, oi. She'll marry that young maiden. <laughs> That's a most excellent idea. <laughs> Hands off, old man. So the time has come. You have to go home, Simon. Unfortunately, yes, it's about time. I still have some homework to do, theoretically speaking, but I'm sure glad I could save the day. I will gladly admit that you have improved a little bit. The murder of the king was a disgrace, but you made up for it. Of course, the way you brought back the king was far too dangerous. No risk, no fun. That reminds me of the insecure clot you used to be. Right, an insensible clot, but irresistible. Oh, Simon, how can anyone be so full of himself? And yet, you're exactly the Simon I fell in love with back in the beginning. Self-opinionated, stubborn, selfish. Untidy, now don't exaggerate. And yet, lovable. Do you really have to go? Unfortunately, yes. My place is in the real world. Uh, well, you know what I mean. I don't always like it there, but I have to return there anyway. Stop wailing! Think of me! I now have to cope without Alex. Even if I wanted to change, I couldn't. 
I am what I am. I will always file love letters and sheet protectors. She'll never take me back. These are two facts I have to bravely endure. Listen, Double. Don't you dare go telling anyone, but I think I might actually miss you. Well then, I'll get going. Normality and daily routine, here I come. Oh man. That sounds wonderful. It's not normal, Double. You should go and see a doctor. Oh, Simon, I wish you all the best in your world. I hope we will see each other again soon. Let me hug you. Oh, dear, I'm dead. I'd totally forgotten about that. Hmm. Somehow I can't be bothered at all with going back. Oh, Simon, what have you done? Who's done what? Simon kicked Simon in the wardrobe, and now he's traveling through the dimensions. Simon? But Simon is here. Where is the wardrobe? I remember very clearly that there was a wardrobe here a minute ago. Strange things are happening here. I will have to examine this immediately. Now you have me back. The only real, true, super brilliant, exceedingly charming... And totally annoying Simon. <laughs>